This audio fiction is recorded for an adult audience. It may contain scenes of explicit sex, violence and disturbing supernatural entities. Listener discretion is recommended. Come, lend me your ear, as I speak to you of the macabre, the cursed, the maligned, the malignant, the possessed, and the downright demonic. (coughs) Bolt all doors, lock all windows. Are you alone? Are you sure? I suggest you check under the bed, carefully, twice. Episode 1 of Baratanak A New Darkness at the World's Edge (sighs) Book 1 of Fitzmarbury Witches. Tainted Paradise. Night's cloak swallowed all shadows except one, a brooding shadow, darker than the sunless sky. It possessed a name, one rarely and never safely uttered. Water was illuminated like liquid neon in the ancient creature's vengeful gaze, the human hand slicing through its surface over and over. Above the swinging limbs, its eyes lingered on a fluid electric blue that shimmered on the undersides of overhanging coconut palms and swathes of bougainvillea. In the swing pool's spectral glow, the foliage appeared to float, rootless and untethered. The creature hung there in its latest transitory form, a void, a fetid smear of eternal sentient misery. Time and again it watched the human's head gasp, purging and sucking at the warm air. Stifled mercury tears of laughter welled in its undead eyes, mocking the mortal's stunted vision as he snatched glimpses of the darkness. A simmering darkness, about which it knew mankind understood very little, but had always dreaded. A besieging darkness, within which humans were prone and nearly always defenceless. Its shapeless mass convulsed and extended a dry, cracked tongue to savour the scent of fear, subtle but perceptible on the air, and oh so sweet. Every fibre of the creature yearned for fulfilment, but it remained patient in the way only the eldest ones can. The parchment fragment it sought was still to be found, a scrap borne across the ocean by blemished human hands, but it was so close. 
Soon the creature would be free to crush all the enchantments, trivial and otherwise, that the human had invoked and constructed. It wished to taste blood again, the blood it had been sent by another to reap. Close to the deep end of the pool, the creature lurked, impervious to light, at the spiny, ragged base of a macaw palm thicket. It pressed against their deadly spines, shivering with pleasure as they pierced its skin. With confident indifference, it neither recoiled nor hid from the doomed human. Indeed, it pulsed darker when the mortal strokes brought flesh within reach of its talons. The creature wallowed in temptation's exquisite tenderness, changing its shape at will. A bargain made in Bloomsbury would soon be fulfilled. Thank you for listening. If you have enjoyed this episode, then please subscribe. I must leave you now, but do not despair. If you listen to the next instalment, the curse cannot harm you, but you must believe. Now pull the blanket over your head and be quiet. You are not alone. Shh.